Hey everybody, it's Cool Trainer Rob, and this is a follow-up video to my last video where we talked about counterfeit and resealed booster packs. In this video, we're going to be talking about not only booster packs, but booster boxes as well. And all of the items that I chose, I found through various marketplaces that people would commonly use online to buy Pokemon cards. So every single product shown in this video is something that you could encounter out there in the wild. And that is why I chose these products. So I think we should get started. So up first, we've got this XY Evolutions booster box. And, you know, there's obvious issues here right off the bat. If you're familiar with what this product looks like when it's authentic, then this is a pretty easy thing to look at and be like, oh, well, I need to pass on this product. However, the issue is there's a lot of new people getting into Pokemon, and they might not have ever seen an XY Evolutions booster box or seen one in, in person or actually had one in their hands. So if that happens and they look at this, you know, they're going to think this is an authentic box. Why wouldn't they? The packs are all facing back to front, which is something that you'll see in uh, authentic boxes. It's got the shrink wrap with the Pokemon logo on there. Why wouldn't this be authentic? Well, like I said in my last video, when we look at fake products right next to the real deal, it's really easy to see what the differences are. So right here you can see the authentic box, and the Pokemon logo on the shrink wrap is much larger. The colors, the artwork, everything about it is much, much more different. You know, it's got Charizard on the front instead of Raichu. Most of the box's color scheme is blue, gray, and red, whereas the previous box had this strange green tint to it. Uh, let's move on to a side view. This is a side view of the fake box, and you can see it's got Mewtwo on the side, you know. You can see the colors of the booster packs inside, which, if you're familiar with XY Evo booster packs, these aren't even the correct colors for the booster packs. Here's a, a shot of the real deal, you know, it's something else to note is the box for the real XY Evo booster box is in much better shape. And, you know, that, that can vary depending on how somebody takes care of their things. I've seen some rough XY Evo booster boxes that were authentic, were authentic. However, I do tend to notice that the resealed or the fake stuff looks a little bit damaged, like it's just been roughed up. So, as you can see, the side view here features Raichu instead of Mewtwo, and the colors are still very different. Let's move on to a, a rear shot of the fake box. And this is actually kind of faithful to the real deal. You know, it's got the same four Pokemon in the same spot with a paragraph of text that's pretty similar to the real one. I'm not going to read the whole paragraph and see if it's accurate word for word, but it looks to be, you know, Let's compare this to the real box. You can see what I'm talking about with a lot of the parallels being drawn. However, it's still very obvious that the colors are not correct in any shape or form, you know? So let's move on. I think, I think we've covered that box pretty well. So here we've got some pretty convincing Vivid Voltage booster packs. And at first glance, you know, without an authentic product right next to it to compare it to, you might get too excited and be like, oh wow, let's get this Vivid Voltage, let's buy it right now. Uh, look at the crimps, however. I talked about this in the last video. You can see there's that strange tooth-like uh, edging to the crimps. No Pokemon booster packs come that way. Let's look at the real deal, let's have them side by side. As you can see, the, the colors are a little bit different, but these are obviously two different cameras, so I don't want to comment too much on the differences in colors because the lighting and the cameras are wildly different. It's obvious to me from just the photos, but none of that matters, right? You look at the crimps, you can see the crimps aren't correct on the product on the left, and you can easily pass on it. So looking here, we've got a Sun and Moon Lost Thunder booster box. Uh, I mean, if you're familiar with the product, you'll know this is not what they look like. Uh, another easy way to tell, though, is look at that logo in the upper left corner that says New Cards. Pokemon doesn't do that. We know they're new cards if it's a new set. They don't need to go out and tell us that. That's not something that the Pokemon company does. That's not something that they even did back with, uh, 
the Wizards of the Coast days or anything. I'm not familiar with any product that came with this logo officially. So let's look at, let me see. Yeah, let's look at a real, real deal copy here. You can see the colors are wildly different. It features a different Pokemon on the front. The logos are a little bit different in the way that they're placed or they're sized. I, the artwork is just wildly different. You can look at the back here by the Pokemon trading card game logo. Uh, it's got this gray diamond type pattern and the fake copy has, I don't know, some kind of abstract artwork that kind of looks like the sky. You know, that's, that's wildly different. Let's look at the back of the fake box here. You can see the shrink wrap looks like crap. You know, that's, that's a pretty big dead giveaway. Like even assuming the rest of this box looked good, the shrink wrap doesn't. So that's, that's a red flag. But as you can see, the artwork on the back is kind of similar to that XY Evolutions uh, box in that it's similar to the real deal. You know, we'll look at the real deal right next to it right now. Yeah, you can see that it's it's got two Pokemon in like similar positioning, but it's got Pikachu there and Pikachu doesn't appear on the authentic box. You know, it's got this paragraph of text on the back that looks similar, but the background uh, isn't correct. It's still got that abstract sky background, whereas the real deal has this diamond pattern. Uh, unfortunately, you know, like I was saying at the beginning of the video, all of these products were things that I found on various marketplaces. And this fake Lost Thunder box I found on eBay. And people are bidding on it even though it's marked as fake. You know, look at the title here. It says fake question mark. And somehow we've still got people bidding it up to $365. So I did click on the bids to see who's bidding on this. And you can see here, a lot of the accounts bidding on it have extremely low feedback. So what I'm thinking is happening there is these are people who know this is a fake box and they're bidding it up to a really, I don't know, obscene sum of money so that nobody actually ends up winning and paying for the auction. I'm hoping this guy with a feedback of 22 isn't actually trying to win this item uh, because he's gonna be pretty disappointed. But I have a feeling that whoever this person is with two feedback and zero are doing exactly what I had assumed, you know, bidding this up so that nobody actually wins it. So let's move on to this next product. This is a Hidden Fates booster box. And I chose this product specifically because how do you know it's fake, right? There's no such thing as a Hidden Fates booster box. That's how you know it's fake. You don't have to look at this box and say, oh, here's telltale signs from the artwork or the colorization or the fact that there's no Pokeballs on the shrink wrap. We don't have to go over any of that information because this product never existed. Hidden Fates only came out in Elite Trainer boxes and various pin boxes and gift boxes. They never released a booster box. So that's something that I, I hope everybody knows because I know Hidden Fates is a popular product and I don't want to see you going out there and thinking that you're getting a deal on 36 Hidden Fates packs when in fact this was never made by the Pokemon company. So let's look at the back of it. We don't need to compare it to a real one because there's no such thing. Uh, even looking at the Mew and the Mewtwo on the back, that artwork is a little bit weird looking, you know, very heavily shadowed. Uh, I don't know. It, it just looks like a crappy product anyway. I mean, look at the www.pokemon.com. The www is like a couple of font sizes larger than the pokemon.com part. That's weird. Uh, we can move on to a side view. Here's another telltale thing. You can barely see the crimps in there. The crimps are all wrong. Uh, I can't tell for sure, but I think those crimps have the tooth-like structure at the very top, which as we've spoken about at length before, that's all wrong. The crimps have a weird kind of pattern to them that I can see through the plastic here, and they're all wrong. They don't look like an authentic booster pack at all, but as said before, none of that matters. Here's a bottom view of the booster box, which is just another great way to tell. The shrink wrap looks like crap, and usually in this white box, you would see a bunch of copyright info and printing info, stuff like that. And that's not even, they didn't even try to fake that on this box, probably because there's not a real box for them to try and copy it from. 
So let's move on to another product. And at first glance, this is a great looking Pokemon Jungle Booster Pack, right? Well, it's not. I would like you to compare the top crimp to the bottom crimp, okay? Look at the bottom crimp. The bottom crimp is kind of nice. It's smooth looking. You can see the obvious texture of the crimp. It's got that ridge-like structure in the middle there. Everything looks good on the bottom. And it's hard to tell due to the angle that the seller took this photo at. And I think they did that on purpose to be misleading. But also having it in the plastic, you know, to make it hard to tell that the top of this product is a resealed crimp. Uh, how can I tell that, you're asking, you know, because of the angle, because of it being in plastic? Well, it has this ghost-like haze to the top of the crimp. You can tell that the ridge texture of the crimp isn't nearly as pronounced as it should be. I've seen a lot of authentic crimps and a lot of resealed crimps in my time, and authentic crimps have this nice shiny uh, sheen to them. That's how they come from the factory. So I do have an authentic one. Let's look at these side by side. I think that's the best way to tell. Uh, this isn't the greatest photo, but it's the best one that I could come up with. It's hard to get great lighting on these booster packs, but look at the top of this uh, crimp compared to the other one. It's nice and shiny. The ridges of that texture are, are pronounced and obvious. The light shines off them and makes them look very apparent. Meanwhile, on this other one, it's hazy. It looks flattened. It's, it's got, I don't know, it almost looks a little bit like the top crimp was crushed up or something like that. Like the light just doesn't hit it in a way that would instill confidence in me. And maybe some of you are saying, Rob, you're, you're wrong. That looks like a decent crimp to me. Well, you know, that's fair. I'll, I'll tell you this much. I would never buy this booster pack. If I saw this on eBay and this was the only photo I had, I would not purchase it, no matter what the price is. I don't think it's worth the risk. The crimp just looks suspicious to me. So here we've got a fossil booster pack, and I think this is a better example of what to look for with an extremely obvious resealed crimp. So look at the bottom. Once again, it's got the, the ridges and that nice texture that we want. It looks pretty clean. The silvery sheen looks nice. It's obviously a worn booster pack, but you know, the bottom crimp looks fine. The problem arises once again when we get to the top. And again, this is from the same seller as the last booster pack. I think they're trying to take misleading photos again by having this strange angle and by having the booster packs in plastic so that you don't get the best possible view at the top crimp. But I don't think any of that's going to help. You know, it's like putting lipstick on a pig. Uh, look at that top crimp. It's very hazy. The ridges are almost completely gone. You know, if you were to feel those with your fingertips, I don't think you would even feel those ridges. And the top silver part is just crushed and worn looking. Everything about that looks like it's just been handled at length. And I just, I just don't trust it. It looks resealed to me, absolutely. Let's compare it to the real deal. And I know I chose another booster pack that was kind of obscured because look at this, it's in one of those, uh, I forget the names of these, uh, like a, a type one card holder, I think we call these. I've got some right here, let me actually look. Card saver one, that's right. It's a card saver one that they've jammed this booster pack into and it's inside of plastic. But I chose this as an example on purpose because now we compare an authentic booster pack that's in plastic wrap and stuff like that to a fake one that's in plastic wrap. And you know, looking at this authentic one, it's just extremely obvious. We've got beautiful looking crimps that don't look like they've been handled at length. The ridges and the, or the ridges and the texturing is exactly what I would like to see. It doesn't have a ghost-like haze over it. It's beautiful. It's a great looking booster pack. Uh, that is it for the examples today. This video ran a little bit longer than I expected it to. You know, we're coming up on 15 minutes here. And if you stuck with me to the end, go ahead and comment with, uh, I watched it till the end, because I would love to know who stuck around that long. And if you enjoyed this video, share it with somebody else who might. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Cool Trainer Rob. You've all been beautiful. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you next time.